Ellie is the best actress ever, and now she's one of the boys, according to Justice. Money on you, spend a couple, couple million. A married man. To conclude this Elke and Bali drama, she's a certified hustling mother who wants nothing but rich men to take care of her and her lifestyle. Take black coffee, Peter, and many unknown gents. Now she's hit rock bottom. She went to another woman's husband. Sure. Wives and mains would do everything except leave or cheat back. Also, the only winner here is the cheating husband. Both of these women are just co clowning for a dick. Bored. Elke and Bali were so polite and respectful to Valentine during the woman to woman call. Sis wanted to be accepted as a mamman is so so bad. She a gone girl for that woman's husband. Yes, Elke didn't cheat on the wife, but she is still trash for helping that man cheat on the wife and being proud of it too. She clearly has no issues. With sharing why didn't she just stay in her marriage and become a umamkulu so we can see her humbleness. Another tweet responded. But isn't this how polygamy starts? You jol with a married man till he decides he wants to marry you. It's just a askis. So what are your thoughts, guys? How does polygamy or istembo actually start? Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. I, I, I say wow. Wow. Just wow. And her being a side chick doesn't necessarily mean she wasn't abused, but she definitely is a big ass hypocrite. Another replied, proof of her abuse? We do have a Febe though. Mac G was right. Don't date or marry it girls. They are all the same. Feminists by day and sleeping with married men at night. The same anything that lied about black coffee abusing her. As far as you got coins, you can sleep with an it with any it girl. They are all for the mula. I'm a comfortable one. So for me, you dating it is sure. I buy a cement. How badly do you want the people of Abuja City to have fiber? The point got to my head, say me got you. Remember two things are true about Elke. Her home was wrecked. She wrecked her home. She was abused. She actively contributed to a man abusing his wife both things are true here's the response we are aware the hypocrisy is just absolutely stunning and how black coffee was accused of orchestrating the whole thing was even more staggering it's gawk smacking how easily it is to believe something about a man whether it's true or not whilst absolving a woman of her actions I don't tell them this narrative of she is not the one who made the vows is boring. Women lack accountability when due. Hoes must be dragged. She is an enabler. A simple, I hear you have a partner, count me out, could have kept her off the mess. She was crying here, cup black coffee. Drag Elke. Another responded, when they come for you, tag me girl, I'll be by your side. No be like I hated someone's son because of this video. I apologize to Black Coffee. Clearly, there is way more to this story. Good luck to end there with the build in the Black Nation. We all know Elke Mbali because she's the celeb, but don't forget the woman that is affected here is Valentine. Valentine, Honey's wife. And Elke is out here wanting his temp. That lady who outed Elke still has some big decisions to make regarding her marriage. The court of public opinion has nothing to do with Nomsha Instead, she has invited so many eyeballs. E is not the villain in her story. Imego, Imego Zili. My gains is Clevo Yenaka. Sure. Hey, 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 hey. Chances are the husband has been cheating for years, but she has never exposed the side chick before. She exposed the answer because her name carries weight and she's a public figure. Can she also make a recording of her confronting her husband, or is that reserved only for Anthea?
so what exactly is Ali known for again? Comment and let us know. Or oh, he's now known for being Antle's married boyfriend. That phone call was a setup. How did Antle not see it coming? I mean, she's got condoms everywhere. I mean, if she started, she would have been two steps ahead. Also, this isn't about, this doesn't change anything about the abuse Antle said she experienced at the hands of black coffee. This Danita is definitely not taking her neck off of black coffee. She ain't throwing him anything his way. What are your thoughts, guys? <laughs> the guy that was dumped for cheating. Let's take it a step further. You dump a man because you're saying this man is cheating on you. And then you go start a relationship with a married man. So basically, you hate it when your man cheats on you, but you are very happy when the man is cheating with you and is cheating on his wife with you. Why do you want to go and break up a happy home? If you women love each other so much, if you women have each other's backs. <laughs> This is exactly what Antle did. She left her marriage with black coffee to be a married man's side chick. Absolutely nothing absolutely nothing that has happened with which in my marital home this is just an opener to say women we need to stop protecting these men we keep saying we are tr trying to build a black nation and that's what i was trying to do i uh, did not want to be that woman to break down a man who so many love but that man is breaking me down and i am saying enough today is the last time I am silenced by any cause now going to talk. I am going to spare absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing that has happened with which in my marital home. I woke up this morning to an article. Um, I have been called by journalists a lot lately and I've stuck to my no comment and it works for me. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. I, I, I say wow. Wow. Just wow. But I woke up today to something that was extremely personal that I had handed over to the court that has now made it to the papers. The situation that is happening right now in my life is indeed happening. But I would also just like a bit of space um, with regards to questions and so forth I do believe that the system will do what is due and what is fair I do believe in every way that the South African system is a fair one and our justice system has been built around creating fair decisions for those who can't make amicable decisions it has been a very long couple of years for me and in all of that, all I ask is for silence. Not for me or anyone else, but for my children. Everything I have done till this day is to protect my children. All I've ever tried to do was be a great wife, a supportive wife, one that is respectful, not only to my partner and everyone who is around him. I have now in me a fight that I've never understood but I understand why it was placed in me in this point in my life it has been a very 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 rough year but I still stand tall and proud it is indeed a situation no one wants to see themselves in but here we are I just 
on waking up today remembered this by Chimama Mande Gozi. We teach our girls to shrink themselves, to make themselves smaller. We say, girls, you can be ambitious, but not too much. You should aim to be successful, but not too successful. Otherwise, you will threaten the man. Because I am female, I'm expected to aspire to marriage. I'm expected to make my life choices, always keeping in mind that marriage is the most important. Now marriage can be a source of joy and love and mutual support. But why do we teach our girls to aspire to marriage? As we don't teach our boys the same. We raise our girls to see each other as competition. Not for jobs or accomplishments, which I think could be a good thing. But we teach our girls to compete against each other for the attention of men. This, I know, is a narrative for a lot of women. And I stand today and fight. Thank you. You strike a woman, you strike a rock. I am no rock. And I've said this, that I am a flower. I say jump, you say how high. Squeeze them dry, the rest of the world won this. See, there's already down there, scoping out who is who. God, you are You are he is just wow i love him he's so amazing i don't know what to say i don't even know why i'm talking about him here but like i just can't not share you know when something makes you so happy you just want to tell the world about it like guess i'm on the e-podcast just to talk about how much i love my man Guys, I'm gonna go shower now, but I wanted to quickly ask you for your advice, Nam. I was invited to this fight that's happening in Sun City weeks ago. Weeks ago, I was invited, meaning I don't have to pay for anything, I'm being accommodated, cash was even providing transport. And I confirmed my attendance. Now my Black King's mom, he's not really his, her mom, but like someone that I guess mentors him in a way, is having a Thanksgiving this Saturday as well, and he wants me to be his partner. And then he even wants us to drink some matching outfits which is so cute. I've never done that before. <laughs> but anyways, now I'm just like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I really don't want to be an asshole and part of Casper's thing, but I also really want to support my Black King. I think maybe I'll do Saturday with him and then go to the actual fight because the fight is actually on Sunday. So I can travel to Sun City on Sunday morning. Ne? What do you guys think? I can not even send any advice. No, I do as the saying goes, the dust will always settle and she will go back to whatever it is she does. What about black coffee though? One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah.